Choo choo. Happy Memorial Day. I uh, just got home from a great lunch with a girlfriend and um, I came home to do a homework project with Kaden and oh, tabby dog. Yeah. Uh, and he and Kirk are gone. So I got the whole house to myself with my white dog and my white couch that I love so much and record player that I'm going to play a song for you and sing. One of my favorite songs that my dad always played growing up and I just love it. So really it doesn't have any rhyme or reason or meaning or anything like that. I just love singing it and I think it's fun. So I'm going to do that for you in a little bit. But until then, uh, let's talk about the second pathway to a higher consciousness, consciousness by Ken Kais Jr. Um, I am discovering how my consciousness dominating addictions create my illusory version of the changing world of people and situations around me. So basically, we see things not as they are, but as who we are, our programming. Um, it's, it's absolutely crazy because we assume different things about people. Um, and then we have our story that we put around that. And then we project it onto that person. And oftentimes, our mind will prove us right because that person will do exactly, you know, what we said about them and show us, show our minds that we're right. And if we actually changed what we thought about a person, it's amazing how those very people often, not always, rise to the occasion. So, for instance, let's do a, let's do a, for a, an example. Um, when I see the world as friendly and helpful, loving, kind, uh, I receive that. I'll go out and doors align and I will meet the right person. I will... Um, I will just be treated so well. Someone will say, oh, it's on me. You don't even need to pay for the coffee. I mean, it's just like, bam, bam, bam. Wherever I go, it's just whoo, opportunities, awesome people, craziness. And then if I am creating a day where I'm just like, people suck. And they're this way and they're that way and blah, blah, blah. I go out and I'm not kidding you, the universe aligns and I meet the very person that says the very thing that, that tells me exactly what I think about society and tells my mind, yeah, you're right, you're right. And so um, it's all an illusion. It's all these stories we tell ourselves about people and we rarely take responsibility and actually call the person or talk to the person and say, hey, this is what I've been telling myself. This is what's been going on. And more times than not, that person's going to go, oh, what? No way. You know, that morning, my, my kid was this and that. And so when I was talking to you, I was just thinking about how he wouldn't get ready and put his shoes on. And I wasn't at all, you know thinking that you were being this way or that way. And so, so a lot of miscommunication occurs because we have an addiction that we, our addiction, remember, security, sensation, or power. And then if any of those seem to be like threatened in any way, it's like <coughs> full red, red alert signs go off in our brain. And then we project and see things not as they are, but as who we are, who, what our illusions are about. And so um, it's about, you know, in the four agreements, a lot of you've probably heard of that book, but it's about not assuming 
anything. Very few things are the only truth. The only truth is love. That's it. All the rest. Pff. And what is love? Love comes from, from a place that you can stand on tall. I mean, you just know it. And there is nothing, no one can say anything to you. I am telling you right now where I stand, no one can say differently to me on certain topics because, because I know it in my gut. It's like saying, you know, I think love's a good thing. Or it's like saying, I know love works. I know that the people will rise to the occasion when you call upon their soul. And even the even people that are liars and manipulators and um, controlling and all that. It's like when we can see past the bully and stop, oh, the bully, the bully, and stop separating ourselves from people that are suffering and we can actually see their innocence, um, there, it gives us a more of a chance for, for them to, to rise, like I said, to the occasion. And so... The other thing I wanted to touch for those of you that are into signs and numbers and all that, I mean, you can go somewhere and it's one, 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 four, 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 you know, songs will come on and you'll go, that's it. This is the truth. You know, God is telling me, the universe is telling me that this is it. And what I have really learned is that nothing is set in stone because of free will. And so you may think because all the signs and everything are going your way, you may think, oh, yeah, although the other person has their free will to do whatever they're going to do. And so you are manifesting all the signs and yet it, it just, it doesn't mean something is supposed to be. So that's an illusion too. And so signs are beautiful and they're, they're fun to look at and acknowledge. Just don't uh, live your life by them or, or have, them, uh, have them shade your true vision. Because um, the only vision that is real is, is from your heart and you'll stand on it and you'll know and you won't be addicted. You won't be clenching or, or you won't have that pit in your stomach or any irritation at all. And if you do, if you're creating any irritation inside yourself or any gut reaction, even listening to me talk, that is your trigger. That is something that you can choose to move through or not. Um, I guarantee if you don't move through it, the universe will just continue to give you another chance to move through it. I, for one, have moved through enough and I'm just like, okay, like, and I'm not saying that nothing's going to show up. It's just, I, my tolerance to suffering is becoming less and less and less and less. And I just, I want to clear things up with people. You know, I bumped into this girl yesterday, um, this daughter of a friend of mine and I said hey are we good are we good because you know there had been some stuff and she's all we're good and I was just like yes and it's just it's just not worth it it's just not worth it so with that being said I want to sing you the song because I love it I love this song and I mean we all right we all grow up with songs our parents play and um this is Ronnie, I believe, McDowell. Oh, yeah. Ronnie McDowell, Good Time, Love a Man. And this is the song. Our beautiful lovers. Wait. Ah, ah. Hold on. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh the women are beautiful lovers. I said, oh, the women, they understand. I've been around some, and I have discovered that all the women know just how to please a man. Everybody seems to love those 
younger women. Teen on up to 25. Well, I love them too. But I'm telling you, learning how to really love takes a little time. Older women are beautiful lovers. I said older women, they understand. I've been around some and I have discovered that older women know just how to please a man. Love works! Happy Memorial Day!